Hi, I am shooting this video for my friend Sebastian. I am going to show how to quickly polish manually edited brain segmentations for partial coverage data. Here you can see that I have loaded a partial coverage brain image. This is a human brain and we are seeing the somewhat sensory cortex and the motor cortex here. So what we have as the input as the anatomical image as you see here and the segmentation image I am loading in IDK snap. Here you can see that um, the white matter and grey matter borders are a bit jittery. Especially when I go through this slide you can see that this border is sometimes too much in, sometimes too much out. This normally happens when someone does manual edits on the segmentations from coming from automatic algorithms because the accuracy and the precision of the gray matter and white matter segmentations might not be ideal for high resolution imaging. And usually what happens is that uh, they open this segmentation from one angle or one axis and they go through each slide and edit manually the incorrect parts. So now I'm just going to take this segmentation today and show you how to quickly regularize such borders. Okay, so I'm going to link in the video description a script. But basically, I have written a Python script that uses simple image morphology operations like erosion, dilation, and a bit of Gaussian smoothing to regularize these borders. I might shoot a longer video later to show the details of the script, but basically all you need to do is to enter file path to your segmentation here and then run this script. So I'm going to quickly run it in Atom. Okay, finished. Don't forget to check the results carefully, always. So here I am loading this file and see. Maybe I can load it as an additional image here. So now what you are seeing is that in color our polished white matter gray matter segmentation and underneath our previous segmentation. In most cases this Python segmentation polish script quickly take care of the irregular in and out parts of the segmentation and made it much smoother while still preserving details such as the sulcus. Of course always check your segmentation and how well it fits to your anatomical image separately. But that's it for today. Thanks.